Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to part two of my Smart Glove video. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted part one and I apologize about that. For those of you tuning in for the first time and haven't seen part one, go check it out. I'll leave it in the link in the description below. And in that video, I talk about what this glove is, what it's supposed to do for me, and some more information on the glove. Today's video, I am going to put the glove on and show you actually what it does. I'm really excited about it. I wanna talk briefly about what this glove does. This glove was made by a company called Neofect, and it's called a smart glove. And it's supposed to help individuals that have limited mobility in their hands and wrists, such as myself, to help regain function back. So I put the glove on my hand and on this tablet next to me, there are different games I can play where I exercise different motions in my hand and fingers in hopes of regaining muscle back. So I am a C4 quadriplegic, which means I am paralyzed and I also don't have mobility in my wrist and fingers. So I can't really move them and this glove hopefully helped me regain function through the exercises in the tablet. So I'm gonna put the glove on right now and turn the tablet on and show you some of the games they have and the exercises that are on there. All right, so I just got the smart glove on and this is what it looks like on my hand. And I also wanted to say I have a glove for my right hand as well, but in today's video, I'm just gonna focus on my left. I feel like I have better strength and function in my left hand. So I want to try that one first. So I got the glove on, I'm gonna turn on the tablet, load up the app that it has, and then connect my glove and then show you some of the games that they offer and the different settings and stuff. There we go. Okay, so when I first open the app, this is what pops up. I created my own account, so I'll go to my name. And then once I'm here, these are the different devices that NeoEffect has made, but I'm going to be using the Smart Glove right here. So I'm going to go, and as you can see, so I've already tried it a little bit, and I've use my left side so it has all my different reportings of the functions on my left side only so i'll go to training and then here are all the games so there are, it's actually overwhelming the different options there are um, all of these i have to choose from so what's really cool about this is these are all the games then up above we have cognition arom which is basically range of motion then they have a coordination and a timing. So if I click those, if I click any of those tabs right here, so these are all cognition games. So all games that you would use your brain for. Then if I go to the range of motion, these are all games where I practice range of motion. And then on top of that, down here, it has even more tabs where it says forearm, pronation and supination, which is rotating my wrist all the way over and flipping it over. Then there's a bunch of different wrist exercises and the last one has fingers. So if I wanna focus on my fingers, I'll just click the fingers tab. And then these games specifically would focus on me opening and closing my fingers. And another thing that I thought was really cool in this app is if I go up to the top, it has single training and session training. If I go to session training, it has a bunch of games already pre-made and it has like a time limit. So 15 minutes, I would play these four or five games that they already picked out. If I wanted to focus on a wrist session right down here, it says wrist session, 12 minutes, and it has a bunch of games that would focus just on wrist movements. So I'm gonna go back to single training and pick a game on fingers, because I actually wanna work on a uh, function of my fingers. So I've played both of these, I've played these games, 
and I'm gonna, before I get into the game, actually, I forgot, I gotta go up in the top right corner of the screen and, hit, and click device, and that's where it'll look for my smart glove, so I'll push a button, the on button on the glove, and it'll flash green, and then up on the screen it says left glove, where I will click it and then connect. Okay, so now my smart glove is connected to the tablet, and then I'll click this game. I'm gonna do catch the baseball. So once I do catch the baseball, I can actually edit the features of the game, which is really cool. So for today's video, I'm only gonna do one minute sessions. You can go all the way up to 15 minutes, I think. And then I can choose for opening my hand and closing my hand, how many seconds they want the whole time to be. So for now, I'm just gonna do three seconds each and then start training. So it always starts with how I should be seated before I start the game. So then I hit confirm. And so for this first one, I have to open up my fingers as much as I can, hold it for three seconds, and then the pitcher will throw the baseball at me. And then I close my hand with the, with the uh, ball in it for three seconds and repeat. So I'm gonna open my hands. Let's see. Three seconds. They throw the ball and I gotta close my hand for three seconds. Boom, and that's one. So then I'll repeat. Open. So that means I'm not closing my hand enough. Okay, there we go. All right, do one more. Open the hand. It is hard, it's a total workout. Okay. Close it. I'm laughing, my other hand's closing too. So after a minute, I just set, now it's gonna give me my stats of how I did. So if you come back over here, it says training time. I did one minute, I got a score of 300. And then it showed me out of my thumb, index, middle, ring, and little finger, which ones moved the most. So it's actually funny, my middle ring and little finger didn't really extend as much. So then now I can go on to repeating it. I could add more time or I can go on to a next uh, game, which I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do a squeeze the orange juice, which is another finger one that I like, and I'll set it to one minute instead of three. Start training. And it, it is a workout. It's, it's hard for me because sometimes I feel like I don't even do the movement, but I really do it without noticing. So this one I wanna squeeze. Yeah. Gotta hold it the whole three seconds. Cool. And then now I open it to get a new orange piece. Okay. okay, one down. Then, let's see. I played some of these before I started to record, so <laughs> my hands are, my arms are tired, but yeah. Okay. So that was the end of one minute, and then it's going to give me my score, all my stats, and then I can go back to training to choose a different game. So now I'm going to do another game that will focus on a different um, muscle, which is, I'll do one for my wrist. So I'm going to try a different one and this will be my wrist flexion and extension. So I'll move my wrist in and then out away. And let's do this one for a minute. This is actually my, one of my, one of the ones I really like to play. Ready, set, go. So I'm basically this airplane. And I have to rotate my wrist out away from me to turn left. And I rotate my wrist in this way to go right. But 
of the game, I gotta go this way. So I'm rotating my wrist. Oh no, I need to get back. Okay, back in it. Okay, there we go. So now it'll give me a path that I just have to follow and use my wrists to control the game only. It's hard. My whole body is like, I'm tensing my whole body to try to keep my wrist rotated out. And that beepy noise gives you your 10 second heads up. So you know you just only have 10 seconds left. All right. So again, this is really short and I'm only doing minute ones because of the video. You can go all the way up to 15 minute sessions. And then after this, so this one tested not my fingers, but my wrist extension and flexion. And it says I went 39 degrees out on extension and flexion. I went 31 degrees. I'm confusing myself on which way is which, but hopefully you get the idea. Okay, so for every game that you play for the first time, they will calibrate your personal range of motion on your hand. So all of these games and this glove, it's set up for my hand and my own range of motion on, on the hand I have. So I'm gonna play this game, this block chat game, and it's gonna ask me to do the movements before I do the game. So I'm gonna rotate my palm up, then palm down. So I can do that movement pretty good. So then it'll play the game based off of my own range of motion. So I'm gonna save. Let's see, I'll do, I have to stay at 11. So I rotate my wrist, hold it for three seconds. Then I'm going to, I got 11, so I'm going to hit. Hold it. 22. All right, let's go again. So I got 12, I'm going to hit. Hold it for three seconds. 16, I'm gonna stay. So flip my wrist the other way. All right. Let's go big. Ooh, that can be eight. Seven plus, how many? So then I got 18, I'm gonna stay. One of the things I really like about this glove is the fact that they do measure your own personal range of motion on your muscles before the game. And then once you've played the game, it saves it. So you don't have to do it every single time. But I wanna show you how they do that. Let's go over, make my bet. So I got 10, I wanna hit. 15. Oh my gosh, must stay. Cool, I won. I'll just do one more game that I liked. This, they have a food chopping one that I actually liked and it uses two different muscle groups in my wrist. Ready, okay, so, set, go. so I go up and in. Up and up and in. And then fling my wrist out to push it away. And get it back. I was playing this one earlier and it was making me hungry. The steak sounds good. So cutting the steak up. Rotating my wrist up, then in to cut it, up, in to cut it, and then swipe out. Push it off. There you go. One.
All right. So for this game, I forgot to set it to one minute only. So I'm just going to go ahead and exit it. And even when I exit, if I don't complete the full session, it'll still give me my recorded stats. And so on this one, it had two different ranges of motion and gave me how, how I um, did on each of those. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the part two of this video, guys. I hope you get an idea of what this glove does and how helpful it can be. I want to say thank you to Neo Effect um, for sending me this glove to try out. Shout out to Ryan. He's been the one that's making this all possible. This thing is really cool. I'm really excited about it. I look forward to continue trying some more of the games. And then I want to try my right side so I can compare my left and right wrists and fingers because my right side's a lot weaker. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this device. Comment below. Thank you again for your patience. I know it's been a few weeks since I have posted a video and you all are probably anxious to see this glove. So I hope this one was enjoyable for you. Let me know what you want to see next and thank you for watching.